The Rise and Fall of Andrew Tate What was once a niche practice has become chestnut, with the removal of people from the face of the internet and all major social platforms happening nearly daily. Andrew Tate is an English-American reality TV contestant, a former kickboxer, entrepreneur, and now ex-internet personality. He rose to prominence on social media this summer. He grew rapidly in success due to his controversial and misogynistic opinions grabbing attention mainly through the social media platform TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. And then something happened, and he got banned. So what happened exactly? Why was someone so popular quickly knocked out of a successful career? There is a lot to the story of Andrew Tate. Do you want to know more? Well, before we move ahead, just smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Well, Andrew Tate was pretty well known for his meteoric rise and he even created an online course in modern wealth creation at his own Hustlers University. And he seemingly came out of nowhere to become a star. He emerged as one of the most viral people on the internet for his comically misogynistic takes like women can't drive, men can cheat but women can't, or 18 to 19 year old women are more desirable than 25 years old. As for Tate, dubbed the king of toxic masculinity by his fans, he acquired a massive following and obviously a steady income. As a self-help guru, he advised young men on how to make more money and get more women. Who is Andrew Tate exactly? A native of the United States, Tate holds dual British and American citizenship, has won numerous world titles as a professional fighter, and was a commentator for the Real Extreme Fighting MMA promotion in Romania. Tate reportedly made his fortune through his brother Tristan's adult webcam business, My Free Camps. They hired women to have chat sessions with men in which the women would complain about tragic events and claim to need money which the men would then provide through the site's tipping feature. Tate was a successful kickboxer before his rise to social media fame. Tate was a successful kickboxer with a career record of 43 wins and 9 losses. Emery Tate, Tate's father, was also a controversial character. He was a well-known professional chess player. Tate also appeared on the 2016 British version of Big Brother, but his time on the show was cut short due to numerous controversies. He was fired from the show after a video surfaced of him physically abusing a woman, in addition to reports of homophobic and racist posts on Twitter. From a martial artist to a casino giant Tate's celebrity status stems from a combination of martial arts, reality television, sex work, casinos, and bad buzz. He rose to prominence through his kickboxing performances in 2009, and he won his first world title two years later. Simultaneously, his media career took off. In 2010, he appeared on Ultimate Traveler, a British action-adventure reality TV show. And in 2016, he appeared on Big Brother, the mother of all reality shows. He was fired following several misogynistic tweets and the release of a video in which he is seen beating a young woman, and he claimed that it was with her consent. He had already started spreading his anti-feminist concepts on social media at this point. Tate has conducted interviews with ultra-right media figures such as American conspiracy theorist Alex Jones on his InfoWars platform. Politically, he supports the Trump family and is aligned with pro-Brexit campaigner Nigel Farage. As he goes from one provocation to the next, his rise on social media is reminiscent of that of Hunter Moore, the Californian who founded a vengeful porn site and was sentenced to two and a half years in prison in 2015. His Emergence on Online Platforms Tate's emergence as a media personality and prominence on social media is no coincidence. He wasn't much of a celebrity until the summer when he launched his affiliate program, Hustlers University. This program was Andrew and his brother Tristan's attempt to teach men how to be supreme, but it actually served to strengthen and spread the brothers' ideologies, making them popular in the mainstream media. When individuals signed up for Hustlers University, the Tate brothers asked them to create social media accounts and post videos of themselves. The brothers also instructed their millions of followers to follow suit. Young boys starting from the age of 13 would be influenced into creating hundreds of accounts to spread his messages. 
This method was extremely effective, resulting in Tate gaining 4.5 million Instagram followers, 600,000 YouTube subscribers, and videos with his hashtag receiving approximately 14 billion views on TikTok. However, following his ban, Tate shut down Hustlers University, halting the spread of his media for the time being. His Controversial Statements In 2016, his public career appeared to be over before it had even begun when he was ejected from Big Brother after a video of him hitting a woman with a belt surfaced. Soon after, a second video surfaced in which he is seen telling a woman to count the bruises she allegedly suffered from his hands. Tate and the women both denied any abuse that occurred and claimed the video showed consensual sex. More controversy ensued. His Twitter page contained posts with homophobic and racial slurs. Then, in September 2017, mental health charities chastised him for saying depression isn't real. The following month, he weighed in on the hashtag MeToo, claiming that women should bear some responsibility for being raped. Tate's reputation was raised because of the backlash. He appeared on Alex Jones's InfoWars podcast, was photographed with far-right YouTuber Paul Joseph Watson, and met Donald Trump Jr. at Trump Tower, after which he posted on Facebook, the Tate family supports Trump fully, MAGA. Tate's statements about women are typically racist, sexist, and outdated. He believes that women should submit to and simply follow their partners. He believes that in a relationship, men should have complete control and command. He claims to believe that men and women are not equal. On a podcast with another internet celebrity, Barstool Sports founder Dave Portnoy, he discussed how he would not fly in a plane after realizing the pilot was a woman, because he believes a woman would not be as skillful at flying a plane as a man. He also has controversial views on other social issues such as depression, claiming that depression isn't real. These misogynistic statements and opinions violate TikTok's community guidelines and will eventually be removed. This was exactly why he was banned from almost every social media platform. Tate also stated, amid many allegations, that women bear personal responsibility for being sexually assaulted. He stated, Sexual harassment is despicable and unforgivable. However, it is not harassment if a man looks at you, whistles at you, or asks your name. This belief is generally discredited. Stick to the serious definitions and stop claiming that normal male behavior is rape. The Twitter thread went on. Second, there's Harvey. Creep? Obviously. Women, on the other hand, have been exchanging sex for opportunities for a very long time. This was done by some. They were not abused. This tweet thread, as well as his entire Twitter account, at Cobra Tate, has been forever banned from Twitter. Tate was being investigated for human trafficking by Romanian authorities. Romania's Directorate for Investigating Organized Crime and Terrorism said in a statement to that publication that the raid on the Internet Star's house was part of an investigation that began after a woman was reported to have been held against her will at the house. Furthermore, a spokesperson for the United States State Department referred to a reported abduction of an American citizen but declined to comment further. There is no doubt that toxic masculinity is a virus. Tate, on the other hand, is a symptom, not the cause. And all that deplete forming has done is lighten our society's load. We will never reform masculinity until people understand that the movement is not evil itself and that the truth behind Andrew Tate is thousands of understandably sad and lonely men, not an edifice of evil. Despite his reputation as a social danger, Tate attempted to make amends for his mistakes by trying to establish the Tate Foundation, a charitable organization that aimed to assist both men and women. Although this is a positive effort to give back to the community, his offensive speech continues to make him a controversial figure. And that's how Andrew Tate rose to fame, but soon faced a complete flop. That said, what are your thoughts on Andrew Tate's journey? And what do you think about this video? Drop in your comments and don't forget to share this video out loud. Stay tuned for more surprising and exciting videos.